Hello music lovers, clock collectors, and fine arts enthusiasts. Hey, I just took my long, my longest bike ride of the decade. I'm down here in Union Mills. Uh, it's about, uh, it's about uh, seven miles north of my house where I live at in Union Mills. Real nice park. It's the Mill Pond Park. And I uh, got the old uh, Jeton bicycle out. I got it all, uh, got all the bugs worked out of it. Got new tires on it here. Yeah, I got this old bike right here at Coachman uh, Antiques for 50 bucks. Put new tires on it. It's a Jeton made in the 1970s at some point. Uh, took me a while to get a few bugs out of it. Uh, adjust the brakes. Tires rubbing on the fenders, the rear tire especially because I had it off to, uh, to install the new tube and uh, tire on that. So I had a little bit of a uh, redo problem on that. And right now I'm down at uh, the Union Mills Park, the Mill Pond. That's a beautiful spot. They really did a nice job on this. Uh, this, is, this would be the dam on the other side here. And the pond's over on the other side of the road. But uh, yeah, well, it's about, uh, about seven miles from my house. And I think this is the longest ride I've had in about 10 years. Uh, we used to ride down here and back all the time, so it's going to be about a 14-mile round trip for me. Well, here's the pond down at uh, Union Mills at the park, and you can see the sign says no swimming. Well, there's a reason for that, because we fell out of a canoe one time in this pond uh, about in April. Man, it was cold, and that stuff has nothing but rotting uh, uh, leaves and everything on the bottom. You smell like a sewer if you come out of there. But anyway, it's a nice, nice. I don't know how big the pond is. I'm out on the the, uh, the, the pier right now. It goes down this way and ends up into a creek over there. And on this side, the dam is over here. If you can see that car, let me bring it up close. You see that car over there. The dam is right there. It's just a big pipe uh, where the water flows. And uh, I was told uh, by a guy, a local guy, that uh, at one time they uh, generated uh, electricity here and they turned it on at night. You had lights at night here in Union Mills. So, uh, but that's uh, many, many years ago. Yeah, it's a real nice park. They really did a lot to this park. Uh, they have a Mill Pond Festival in our band, uh, I believe it was Steel and Thunder, or maybe Stony Ridge, used to play here. Oh, we did it about three years in a row to, to raise money to, to, to generate money to, to keep this park maintained and, and uh, do some additions on it and everything. Really nice place. Oh, man. Must be a rich guy down here. Must be some rich guy down here. Check this bicycle out, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this guys he must be from France or something, man. That's one of them jetons. All right, I made it home safe and sound. Didn't have any problems with the bike at all. The only thing I had to do when I got home is I grabbed a couple of wrenches and I had to tighten this seat up right here. It got a little crooked on me. So I tightened the seat up, got that straight, and uh, great performance. Uh, about a 14 mile round trip. <coughs> Pardon me, doggone poplar. And I rode around the park for maybe a couple of miles. And uh, so about a 16 mile trip probably all together. And uh, I tell you, the last couple of miles I came upon a, uh, an irrigation sprinkler. Boy, that was my oasis right there. Yeah, got right underneath that, felt good. It was about 20 degrees cooler and the water was blowing on me. All right, take care.